All right, this demonstration will walk you straight through all the steps to uh, at least making one of your kaleidoscopes. First thing I mentioned is to pick up the line tool and uh, just somewhere in the central part, uh, create your line. The next thing that I suggest you do is lock these into position and hide this one. So um, if you're on a on a, an iPad, you tap and hold the point. Uh, if you're on a, a desktop, you uh, right click it. Notice uh, there's some options here, but what I want is object properties. So let me um, let me just slide me down here for a second. So on uh, let's see, let's make sure I'm on the right point. So if I'm on this point, I want to fix it. So lock it into place. And when I go up to this point, I want to fix it, but I don't want to show it. So what that does is it locks my line into place, and then I'm ready to go. All right, next stage is to create the angle I want. I'm going to do just a simple angle. Um, let's do uh, 60. Let's do 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go now and uh, pick uh, the rotate, and I'm going to select the line and the point, and, and it will... Oop, I got to pick the right situation here. Let's get this right. So I pick the line and the point, and then I type in 60, and I say OK. My face is kind of getting in the way here. OK. And then uh, I it's still selected, so I can do it again. Click, and uh, 60 again. Whoop. And now I've got all my regions. I've got uh, six groups of 60. That's 360. The next thing I'm going to do is, and I'm going to do this just quickly because uh, this isn't about my artwork on this one, but I'm going to pick up my polygon tool, and I'm going to just start making some cool shapes. When you do a polygon tool, always start and finish in the same spot. Um, I like that color, so I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to make another one, and I go, ooh, that's a color I don't want. Ooh, I want orange, and I want uh, deep orange. There we go. And then I'm going to keep going. Let's make uh, some kind of pointy looking kinds of things, and I want that to be nice blue, and I'm going to create something that uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm making, but I want that thing, and I want that to be pink or whatever. That's good enough for now. Next thing I'm going to do uh, before I start moving this thing around is I want to hide all of those points. Now with this up, actually I can do it fairly easy. Um, you can do it a couple of ways. Uh, let's see. Let's do it this way. I'm going to select and hold the control key or um, or the, or what you can do is each time you click on it, you just uh, oh we don't want to fix we don't we just don't want to show it. So you can click on it and don't show it and click on it. You can just do it this way. There's different ways to hide these things. You can also go up and uh, let's do a little bit of this way. You can also do the show and hide situation, which is, and then you just select the ones that you want to hide and then click away from it. And anyways, there's lots of ways to hide these things. Oh, I got one more. Let's, let's get rid of that guy. All right, now my region is ready, and it's not really ready, but that's the idea. <clears throat> I'm going to now click and drag over that region. Now, if you're on a tablet, you uh, click and hold, and then drag the rectangle. If you are on, um, if uh, you're not, if you're somewhere else with a mouse, you just click, right click and drag over it. Now, I've selected that whole region, so now I go up to the reflection option and I click on the line and pops it right into place. And then uh, I'm going to select over that entire, actually you gotta make sure you get everything, so I'm gonna select over that entire region. And it's still selected, so I'm gonna go hit my line and, oop, now, here we go. I obviously missed something here, so I'm gonna go click the undo. Uh, let's drag this down a bit so I got an easier chance to get it all. Let's get it all this time. So that looks better. I want to reflect, and I hit it, and things look much better. Very good. And um, I could I could select. Uh, let's see. 
what would be the easiest thing to select? I'm going to select over this region, and I'm going to reflect it this way, uh, just because it might be easier to reflect it. Now, good, I'm glad this happened. Um, a couple of points appeared, and it happens, I think, when you reflect duplicates, but I want to hide those. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go click on them, and then I'm going to hide them. If they show up during the reflection, you definitely want to do this because sometimes, like this one had multiple reflections there, but there it is. So let's shrink this down a little bit here to get an idea. Now this isn't my prettiest kaleidoscope, but I want to show you a cool thing. If you go take the move tool and you grab any one of these in the original group and you just start tugging on it, things become dynamic. Oh, look at that star in the middle. That was very cool. That's actually quite cool there. I don't know. I can do lots of different things here to kind of finish or create what I like. And all I did is grab like the region and start pulling it. And I'll do that here too. And yeah, that didn't work as well. And again, you know, you can kind of mess around till you get something that you like. Then you take a screenshot, attach it, send it, done. You're going to do this three times. Do three different angles. Um, the angles make a big difference in how things look and also the design. But this is the idea. Good luck with this.